What's up creatives, it's Seb here with another quick Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to easily remove objects in your videos with Premiere Pro. Now pay close attention to this video because I'm gonna be giving you three different techniques depending on why you want to remove objects in your video. The first method is gonna be using Premiere Pro and After Effects with the dynamic link feature. So it's gonna be really useful if you wanna remove moving objects in your video. The second method is gonna be purely on Premiere Pro. And then the third method is gonna be using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. And I bet you didn't notice, but I'm actually using one of these techniques right now. If you look up here in one, two, three, boom. You can see that I was actually hiding the picture frame the whole time so you could see it live in action. So now that I've done the intro of the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's continue with this tutorial and head over to the editing desk. All right, everyone, so welcome back to the editing desk. Like I said, we're gonna be using three different techniques to remove objects in your video, just depending on how you want to do it. So go ahead and open up your Premiere Pro and then import all of the clips that you want to remove. So here we've got three different clips. And the first way we're gonna do it is gonna be the easiest. All you have to do is right click on your clip and do replace with After Effects composition. What that's gonna do is go ahead and open up After Effects and import your clip automatically. Now, just a side note, be sure to save your After Effects in the same file location as your clip, otherwise this effect won't work. Once you've done that, then just go ahead and click on your clip and then go on the pen tool right here. This is gonna act as a mask, make sure it's selected. And then all you have to do is do a rough mask over the object that you want to remove. So I'm gonna do the car as well as the shadow. And then once you've done that, you'll then see that the mask is complete. Now go back to your clip and then go under mask. We're gonna change that to add to subtract. And then once again, we're gonna click on the down arrow right here and then click on the stopwatch just so we can mask the path. And then all you wanna do is just scrub through your footage and make sure that the mask is correctly over the object. So here we can see there's a little bit of a shadow. So we're just gonna move the mask a little bit just so it covers it. And we're gonna do that throughout the entirety of the clip just to make sure that the mask is completely over the object. What you wanna do from here is just go to your Windows section and then go to Content Aware Fill. I'll then open up this panel right here. You don't really have to touch any of this, but if you want to have correct lighting with your mask, just select Enable Light and Correction, and then you can change it to Subtle, Moderate, or Strong. Then once you've done that, all you have to do is press Generate Fill Layer. Now After Effects is now gonna scan your entire clip, analyze what it needs to remove and what it needs to add. Okay, so now that After Effects has finished the Content Aware Fill, you can now scrub through it, and you can see that the car has completely been removed, and you can't even notice that it was there originally. And the best thing about Dynamic Link with After Effects and Premiere Pro is that you don't have to export it. You can literally just minimize and then go back to your Premiere Pro project and you can see that the car is still removed, which is absolutely amazing. So you can just continue editing your project. Okay, so that's method one completely done. Now we're gonna do method two, which is purely on Premiere Pro. It's not as easy as it is on After Effects, but it's still fairly easy. So all you want to do is have your second clip right here. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna remove this penguin. First thing you wanna do is grab your second clip. So we're just gonna be removing a penguin in this section. Go to the very start and then go to the opacity section in your effects controls. And we're gonna draw a mask over the penguin. So I'm gonna click on the eclipse right here. And then I'm gonna hold shift over this little section here. And then I'll be able to make the mask very small. And then what I'm also gonna do is just add a little feather and then also increase the expansion because we can see there's a little bit of the shadow of the penguin right here. And then all we have to do is click on the mask path section once again and we just want to track the entire movement of the penguin so you can see that it's moving right here just like that now there's not too much movement in this clip so all i have to do is that but if you have a lot of movement then you can just press on this button right here and that'll automatically mask your penguin out i've got a whole video dedicated to that so you can watch that up here once you've masked your penguin just click on the inverted clip and then you'll see there's a black dot around your penguin now you just want to duplicate this clip by pressing alt and dragging up and then that'll duplicate your clip now with this second clip what you want to do is actually find an area here where there's no penguin so if we extend this clip you can see that the penguin moves all the way here so i know that the penguin's not going to be in that section so if we delete that and then move that all the way there now once you see that the circle changes a little bit so if we disable this clip right here this is the original one and then this is the one with the extra clip you can see that the effect is starting to take place so what we have to do is just play around with the mask expansion and mask feather so if we increase the feather just like that you can see it kind of disappears and then you want to decrease the mask expansion now you can see that the penguin has completely disappeared so if we scrub through the footage you can see that there's no more penguin so that's method two complete it was almost as easy as the first method but there was a few more steps so now that we've done that we're now going to do method three which is going to be removing a still object in your video okay so now we're doing the premiere pro and photoshop method and this is super easy and there's actually two ways you can do this so for example remember the intro of the video i was removing the picture frame and if you actually have a shot where the item you want to remove is already removed in another shot just for instance this clip right here you can see there's no picture frame all i have to do is drag that on top 
top of my current clip. So all you want to do is just put a mask over the picture frame just like that. And then you can see the picture frame has completely disappeared. So that's really easy if you're removing a still object and already have it removed in another clip. But if you don't have it removed and you want to remove it, then I'm going to show you how to do it. Just click on the export frame right here so you can take a screenshot of your picture and then save it in a location where you can easily find it. From here, just go ahead and open up Photoshop and then import the screenshot you just took. So in the first example, I removed the picture frame, but say for example, I want to remove this little statue right here. All you have to do is go to the lasso tool right there and then draw roughly around the object that you want to remove, just like that. And then once you've got the zigzag lines, then right click on there and do content aware fill. And then you'll see a new window that appears just like this. So anything in green, it's gonna use it as reference to try and remove that object. So for instance, I need a little bit of the blue because there's blue in the background right here. And you can see right here, we have a live preview of what it looks like. And it's, to be honest, it's done a really, really good job. So I'm just gonna press okay. And then we're gonna deselect this right here. And to be honest, that kind of passes, but if you want to improve it a little bit more, just right click on both layers and do merge layers. And if you wanna make it look a little bit smoother, just go to this tool right here. And then we're gonna select the burn option and we're just gonna burn it in a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. And you can also use a feather, you can just do whatever you want to make it look nicer. Once you're happy with it, just save it, so Control S, and then save that file, and then what you wanna do is just import that back. So you can see right here, this is the screenshot. So if we just add a mask over the statue, and now you can see that it's been completely removed in your video. So those are the three methods slash four methods to remove objects in your videos. I hope you did find this useful, and if you did, do share it with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.